welcome to Warp News Showdown, where the facts are made up and the rules don't matter. I'm your host, Seth the Mad Doc, and welcome to this inaugural episode of Warp News Showdown. Uh, for folks at home who might be wondering what this illustrious program is all about, uh, every week I'm going to have some of the best minds in 40K on, and I'm going to present them with a series of questions of kind of the, the most important news articles that are going on in our community. Really, um, I, I really find that I am the best judge of, of the pulse of the community, and really I have the best uh, decision making when it comes to whether they're having the correct answers or not. So my guests are going to try to answer my questions and I'm going to award them points based on what I feel is our correct answers or not. Uh, then at the end of the show, whoever has the most points wins. I'll hail the winner and we'll give them some time on air to do a soapbox of their choice. So let's get on over to this week's guests. Say hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Hello. Hey, hello, there we everyone. all are. So th on this very first episode, we definitely have never recorded another episode before. Uh, <laughs> we're, we're joined over here in our, our top left by Tech Priest Dickie of Grim After Dork. I want to change your name to Grim oh, After Dork. Ouch. Directly above me, Dang. we have Adam Solis of TFG Radio and FLG Judging Fame. And then over here <laughs> to, my, to my left uh, is Nathan from Stat Check. Definitely his first appearance on the show. Boys, are you excited to be here? Do you know what you're doing? Yeah. No. All right. Unfortunately, well, yes. All right. Just like well, my judging. Well, well, for folks at home, uh, you can see on the bottom of each of the players' screens, I have a score running for them. And as I award score, you'll, you'll hear a nice little positive sound, a little ding when they get a point. And you'll see the Dickie point goes up there. And maybe Dickie says something that upsets me because he does that a lot. Uh, you might hear this. <laughs> And then Dickie oh. will lose a point. And so uh, you'll be hearing some audio cues as we go. Now, are you guys ready for your first question? We're going to start with Dickie, uh, but everyone's yep. going to have a chance to answer. You ready, Dickie? I've never been I've never been more ready right. to answer a fictitious to... question on a fictitious show. Yeah, Fantastic. Because we are <laughs> just the most uh, involved and, and really well-read and well-researched uh, members of the 40K content creation community, I thought today we would start off by demonstrating our knowledge to the audience without looking, name the top five players in the ITC. <laughs> oh, God. Um, top five? So... Uh, I hear Chima. clicking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Canadians are nice. Um, okay, Manny Chima? Oh. Um, 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 Liam VSL? Uh -huh. Oh, that sound is so disheartening. Um, okay, uh, John Lennon. Oh man. Uh, uh, who else is good? Who else is good? Did you're you're Nathan, at three. Give me a sign here. Uh, okay. give you a sign? Yeah, I look, can't. You, you you would know who they are. You stats person. You should. Um, in Innis is one of them. Innis oh, is in Innis. line for top five. Yeah. Okay, Innis. You see, can you? Uh, can I phone a friend? Am I allowed to? Do no, that? no, um, I, no. Making up new rules. Did. Friend. I'm no. the only rules um, here. Okay, sorry. One of my one of my favorites from the top five is, uh, <clears throat> is somebody very important to GW at the moment. Josh Roberts. There you go. <laughs> oh God. Well, this the, by by giving it away, you've sort of. Uh, I didn't realize it was two on one. Yeah. yeah so so uh, Nathan, give us give us the top five in the ITC. This is not fair, uh, by the way. Oh, don't it worry. It's about fair. to get fair. I don't I don't even use the ITC system at all for stat check purposes. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. It's a terrible system <laughs> hidden behind a formula that nobody understands. It is the best um, system ever. And that's why I think like, it's like <laughs> Rundy or somebody in first place. Can we make this show all about the ITC versus uh, the stats? Elo. Uh, sure, Elo we can system. make this all about a good system, also known as an Elo system, and a terrible <laughs> system, also known as the ITC. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Adam, save us. Save us, Adam. Uh, can you make some positive points? No, because I'm going to say Josh Death, oh. uh, Aaron A. Long. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> uh, I, He's only got I, don't two. Pay, I don't I don't pay attention. Um sure. spoken like a true top judge. Like I know you're a judge, right? You would see the I, guys on the top. I'm, 
It's top five people I used to have to deal with, deal with, right? Oh, yeah. There we go. There's some points. All right. Top, top five so, at what is the real question oh. that you need to ask? So, so we've, we've made it out of out of our first question with Adam sporting a lead here. Uh, Nathan, Damn right. that's definitely Otherwise not tradition, card. is uh, woo, there in, in, in last place. Um, all right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Moving on. Next question. So. The, we, we're recording this kind of in late September, so it looks like there is no balanced data slate coming in September. And so I had to ask the question, did we as the community have some sort of mass hallucination or hysteria that there was supposed to be a down, balanced data slate coming in September? Or does GW just define September more differently and esoterically than the rest of us? Oh. Dick, you take it away. Oh, he gets to go first again. I'm, I'm lucky. Um... I would say the GW is like everything is perfect. Sisters aren't a problem. Um, <laughs> so let's just let's just uh, September can be October. No big deal. Yeah. Uh, Stole in, my in, answer. In case people yep. weren't aware, pandering does get you points on the show. Yeah. So that's oh my worry. god! That pandering, got to pandering to who? Me. I'm the yeah. I'm the ruler. Nathan, you're up. September balance data slate. <sighs> You're not getting a balanced data slate in September, folks. Just like, <laughs> okay, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> like, you can wow. keep wanting one. You can keep wishing for one. You can keep hoping for one. You can wish that James Workshop would come out of your closet, hand deliver a balanced data slate to you, but they will not. Like, what would um, they even fix, right? Like, really? Nothing's broken. Everything's great right now. Yeah, everything's fine. Great. There's no S tier factions at the moment. Um, just ignore the Meltaguns in the corner behind you, uh, yes, or the immolators scary. across the table that advance. Sounds and like we're being taken hostage here. Yeah, you might be. I mean, Adam, who's <laughs> as as the man with the 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 best view of the meta? Uh, <laughs> tell us what you think. Uh, other than GW's loose definition of a month, yeah, I, like, like I think Dickie mentioned, October. Yeah. So I think uh, the December, September data slate will stretch into October, maybe even November. Much, Wait, much like all the it, codexes we're going to be seeing. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh! You just wait, Dicky. Wow. You just wait. In fact, I thought October was in fact not even our thing for GW in the end. They like announced October, and then it turned out to like not even exist. They were like, "Nah, orcs don't actually get a month." Or any time uh-huh. whatsoever. Well, right. They got well, well, one we'll Saturday the, of pre-order. Yeah, we'll mix the rotation. Just like the year here. of chaos they promised for chaos. <laughs> they got like a codex. That's a year. <laughs> That's right. Um, anyway, we'll, that. we'll mix it up. But uh, Dicky, you kind of set up my next one. It's almost like you can read my notes, even though I know you can't. What should people be doing to fill the void of the GW release schedule? Let's start with Nathan. Play Space Marine 2. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. nice. That's wrong, man. honest, like... Pick a class, the one that fits your playstyle best. Um, I personally Bulwark, like baby. Bastion and and Heavy. Those are my favorites. <laughs> Although I do also kind of have a fondness for Sniper at the moment. Mostly because the turning invisible is really funny. And if somebody throws an Auspex scan at, at the, if somebody throws an Auspex scan, you can like one shot every elite enemy in the game, basically, which is always funny. There's nothing more funny than lining up three Tyranid Warriors that got Auspex in a row and they just all die at the same time to the last useful. <laughs> I like, man, this is like the roller coaster <laughs> ride of <laughs> someone. So, I can't I mean, this actually, I can't actually tell if Seth has a pattern <laughs> or not. It's just like every other comment is either a ding or a down, and I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna keep riding it until Seth decides Adam. if he wants his points to matter. <laughs> Adam, Other than playing what? Space Marine 2 because the patch just came out, <laughs> you should all be buying tickets to the next frontline of event. Oh. What event Get, is that? Uh, if you're not at SoCal Open, then LVO or or uh, Cherokee Open. I do enjoy Cherokee. I'll give you some points on that one. It's my favorite. Yeah. Dickie, how should you fill the void left in your heart? Well, Cherokee like me. Was? You could uh, be Maple painting some models that uh, have been dusty on the back uh, back to area. They specifically, I'm not pandering here. This is not pandering. Specifically, orc models um, because they're green. And since we're going to be in October, or orc, 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 oh my god, how many? Oh my god. How many? Uh, 
things can I say to get dings? <laughs> I was going to say you can fill the hole in your heart with Timbits, right, oh, Dickie? You can I just fill it with Timbits. Uh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sad, really? Uh, donut holes yeah, are right. inferior, man. It just wow. makes you wish so you had what? the whole donut. It's just a donut. But it makes like you wish you had the whole donut. donut size donut hole. Yeah. Why are we complaining about more donut? <laughs> you know what? You know what? We're gonna we're gonna move on. Uh, we're gonna keep the rotation going since some people thought it was unfair. Uh, we're gonna start with Adam for this one. Um, team events have really finally. Te team events have really exploded in popularity. Um, I've been playing in them. Nikki or Dicky's been playing in them. Uh, Adam's been playing in them. But uh, Nathan has not been playing in them. And so the question I have for everyone is: Why is Nathan boycotting oh. teams? Uh, let's start with you, Adam. Because he likes to take responsibility for his own failures. <laughs> That's the only reason. I like teams because I can blame everybody else except me. As as evidenced by your social media account this weekend, I enjoyed that. Yes. <laughs> Dickie? My turn. Why, um, why is Nathan boycotting teams? I love you, Nathan. Uh, but the problem is <laughs> we're just not good enough. Um, wow. And, and no team. Well, I mean, look. It's not very Canadian there was, a stats, you. there was a stats check team, Nathan. And uh, I didn't see Nathan there. I'm telling True. you. Yeah. Not even as coach. Not even as coach. I was All actually right. going to be a coach. Defend yourself, Nathan. <laughs> I don't really need to. Um, like, to be honest, I had my. It was my fifth wedding anniversary, and I needed to stay home oh, for the event. That's yeah, fair. I, I think we can all give him, give, him, give him give him here. I'll give him another point. I, for that I one. actually and had Nathan. bought plane tickets to go coach, and then a week later was like, "Oh fuck!" and had to get them canceled and refunded. I and love the, the plane I love, ticket was in place else. I love the oh fuck. Um, yeah. <laughs> I was actually talking about it on an episode of Stat Check one day, and my wife was sitting next to me while I was doing the episode, and I said, and I had to cancel the tickets, and she turned all the way around and looked at me like, I would have murdered you. <laughs> Just so you know. I did it. I, I boycotted teams to save my own life. That's Still's under I duress. Yeah. All right. Yes, it was I under mean, that's, that's a wise choice, really, at the end of the day, you know. Mm -hmm. You, you got to yeah. spend the wife brownie points appropriately. And that yeah. was going to cost extra brownie points. She knows where I live, and uh, the chocolate from Belgium, so. and the, the chocolate from Belgium sleep, only buys hard. so many, so many points for me. Yeah. The Belgium chocolates yeah. were very good. Anyway, uh, we're gonna we're gonna move on. We're going back to Dicky. Dicky, be ready. You're, you're up next. Um, Dicky's in the lead, guys. So uh, you might need to start taking some some big shots to try to catch up. You know, yeah, you just have to say orc, and he hits. Yeah, the yeah, I just have to say orc every time, or how much I love orcs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna set him up for one here. So, oh boy, oh, oh no. What is the worst faction player base? And why oh my god! It, and why is it Eldar? <laughs> oh my god! It's fucking rude as shit, why, not true. Is... <laughs> <laughs> um, so <laughs> Eldar players were very specifically, uh, they're very pompous. They're um rude at the table as well. I can't give you any specific details. Um, they think they're better than you, and most of the times they are because their codex is. Really <laughs> um, what else? Uh, they are they're too slender a lot of the times, um, and their ears really insult me. Yeah. All right, Nathan, you're up. Uh, why? Uh, what is the worst uh, player base faction in the in the game, and why is it Eldar? It's actually orcs, the other pointy oh, ear. Oh no! Ooh. <laughs> I'm ready Not for this. Yeah. So when I <clears throat> so orcs are basically just Eldar, as per um, <laughs> Sean Naden, who said he'd only play pointy eared factions, and oh, so yeah. orcs are an elf faction. They are pointy eared. Yep, and so Sean played them because he said he'd only play pointy-eared factions, and therefore orcs are the worst faction as they are Eldar. If you follow all the rings, then yes. We're, hold on, I heard Dicky agree, so we're just gonna go. Oh, I guess I don't have to say anything. Yeah, he doesn't even know what's going on. All right, we'll go, to, we'll go to you, Adam. I just I need to institute a little punishment okay. there. Okay. How much time do we have? Whatever. Because I have want. a long history with elves. Okay. Fire. Away. I've hated elves ever since second edition Blood Bowl, when they can have agility ah. four and they pick up every fucking football on a two fucking plus <laughs> and do everything on a two plus. 
Oh, I catch the ball. I throw the ball. I score a touchdown. Screw you, elves. They and then it translated the over to 40K because they have their skimmers that pop up and shoot in fourth edition. They can do this. They can start your army off the board in third edition. I have a long history of elves, and I hate them, and I hate you for answering this question. Wow. That, I just hate I elves. I got real mad. He you you real missed angry. the part where oh, yeah. you lost 10 points for agreeing with Nathan, Dickie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn you, Nathan! Hi, Nathan, you're like really hot. Now you're negative one. How'd yeah. that happen? Uh, that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Adam, Adam's hammered. running away with it, guys. Yeah, Adam just so, got really grumpy at one I've game of Blood Bowl he had in like. Oh, uh, it wasn't like, just one game. Well. It was twenty years of Blood Bowl. Twenty years of Blood. Bowl. <laughs> to be fair, Seth is very easy to twist. He's got <laughs> no <laughs> no sense of. <laughs> unbiasedness when it comes to orcs. I'm okay with this. I'll keep going. I'll wrap around from negative numbers. Uh, I'm going to be, be, I'm gonna be honest, too. guys. Grim After Dark is such, an, uh, such a popular show. I don't know if I need to uh, spend time on it. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's okay. I mean, so orcs are go. close number two, mainly for the walk during games. <laughs> Especially when they do a bad one. At least do a proper walk if you're going to do it. Can we talk about the wa as a general phenomenon? I wish we in a good or a bad way. The in a, mostly a bad way, unfortunately. Sorry, I agree. It is really just a bad way. The wa phenomena yeah. is bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, that made it a much closer game. So there we go. Except for Nathan. Nathan's still in the the basement here. Sorry, Nathan. All right. So okay. last question for tonight, and 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 I'm gonna award a little bit more points. You know, so you got a chance to catch up, Nathan. Don't think you're completely out of it, and and you're gonna be taking taking the lead on this, Nathan. Okay. LGT is happening right now. Uh, people are getting there right now. This this should be going out during the LGT. And I recently played on a team with a with a bunch of Englishmen, and I learned a 40k slang term from this oh. Englishman. And it is your job to figure out what this slang term means. What does the term scooper pooper mean in terms of 40k? It probably means to grit out points or something like that. But that would probably be too logical. <laughs> Which doesn't fit with the British way of taking things in the first place. So, like, if we assume that the English cannot think logically about their slang and that the slang, therefore, cannot mean the most obvious thing, <laughs> then we have to assume that instead it means to get a 20 0 against somebody. That's fair. That's fair. Adam, so my turn. what is a 40K scooper pooper? Uh, to win fast enough, you can go take a dump afterwards. Oh, not not right, but I, I like the idea. <laughs> not right, but good answer. Okay, yeah. I like this. That's where my headspace is. Yeah, because Adam has to really go for the bathroom break right now, but he doesn't. I have one in the chamber right now. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> good, call Dickie. good call, Dickie. Okay, man. I'll give a point uh, to oh, Adam uh, for same question. Uh, yeah, good. Thanks, Adam. Uh, a scooper pooper. Uh, the guy that picks up shit matchups? Oh. Um, the guy that likes to play orcs? <laughs> oh. Or like to play Nurgle. All <laughs> right. Well, uh, I, I'm here to inform you, gentlemen, that the scooper pooper is the term for submarining. After you've lost yeah. an early Why game. Why wouldn't they just say it if it's more words than say Because apparently the when the poop floats back to the top of the toilet, it is called a scooper pooper. Oh, I guess. Oh, English people. Yeah I, yeah, I didn't get it. We had to have it explained to us, but that was that was where we were after we lost our, our, first, our second round to the stat check team. We were like, all right, it's time to scooper pooper, boys. And we were like, the hell does that mean? Um, so there was a long conversation about it. But uh, I have to congratulate uh, this week's winner, Adam Solis of <laughs> TFT Radio. Uh, he, he he held on there despite some negative orc opinions. Um, but he, he still had a elf moment. tirade. Yeah, we elf still, tirade we, for the win. We've got the, we've got the slow <laughs> clap there from Nathan. Uh, as your reward, Adam, you've got the screen all to yourself for as long as you want to monologue about whatever's on your mind. And oh, just no. be aware that is all he, of us are in your ear. talk for 10 minutes about that game of Blood Bowl? That he, he might. He <laughs> <laughs> might edit that out, but he can do it. I just did that. I just boy, shot my lower load already. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I know Kicker would want me to advertise the FLG events, 
But I just want to talk about uh, everybody's bane of existence not reading the fucking packet. <laughs> Bring out of the bed, read the goddamn packet. It's right. there for a reason. You can ask me all the questions you want. I'll just ask you to read the packet. Unless you can't read, then that's a whole other issue, and you need to reevaluate your life. Yeah, 40K players can't read. I know. I mean, we did learn in a definitely not previously recorded episode that they can't use drop-down menus. <laughs> They've started to learn how to do that. It only took multiple years of concerted advertising from several people to get them to do it, but they did eventually learn how to do it. The other, the other thing I quickly want to say is a quote from Danny, one of the other judges, who's quoted in our last episode, that if you need to cheat at a game, any game, uh, seek therapy area. That's just me. Yeah. Dicky, Dicky yeah. also told me to seek therapy, so it's good to hear. Good to hear. <laughs> Fourth therapy. I'm assuming that's because yeah, you cheat. Right. I mean, I I mean everybody, everybody <laughs> does need therapy. This is actually a good point. It is. Even yeah. if you don't think you need therapy, you probably do need therapy, if only to check in with somebody and talk about some stuff and get some things off your chest if you don't have anybody else to talk to. Yeah. You should, in fact, take your mental health seriously. For sure, that's it's so important that if you if you notice that something's not going well, just reach out and talk to someone, man. For sure. Well, you guys just killed the vibe of, of you know having fun and <laughs> sorry, no, sorry that we had it on people, and then you went all serious on me. But I do appreciate it, guys, and I do thank sorry you for coming that. on. Uh, I really enjoyed having you guys on. <laughs> sorry Hopefully, that mental we'll help is important, Seth. Oh God, yeah. I mean, <laughs> so, hey, hey, I've taken a lot of efforts this year to take care of my mental health, but uh, we're we're uh, B roll. No one actually listens to us anyway. It's I listen funny. to you guys. That's why. According I'm to my numbers, you're correct. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Well, say good night, everyone. I'm gonna hop on over. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining me, folks. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Uh, head on over to Joe's Discord. We have a nice channel in there for the Warp News Showdown. If you want to throw some questions in there for me to take a look at, I'm going to find the best questions in that thread every week and take credit them for them being my own original ideas and use them here on Warp News Showdown. And I will see you next time. <laughs>